Hello everybody and welcome to another Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode tutorial. In this video I'm going to be covering inventory and inventory management. Now inventory and inventory management has some weird quirks, like just about everything in Adventure Mode. As an example, if you have weapons and you press Q on the keyboard, or alternatively click on this little lizard down here, it will draw your weapon. For this particular dwarf, we happen to have a copper crossbow. I can press Q again to put it away and they strap it to the upper body. If you have a sword and shield, it has the same effect. If you click on this button, uh, the weapon comes out. If you click on this button, it goes away. If you're walking around in a populated area and you are a member of the faction, you can walk around with your weapons out and people won't freak out. However, if you are walking around in an area that is not your faction and you walk out with weapons drawn, they will start attacking you potentially, or at the very least start yelling at you about your weapon. But this is gonna be the focus for the tutorial, my inventory. I could hit I on the keyboard to open it, or simply click on the backpack down here. Once it's been clicked on, if I wish to close it, I can press escape. Click on it again to open it up. We could click on done to close it, or I can right click to make it go away. In the inventory, there's a bunch of different options. We can remove items from our body, from our person. We can interact with items. We can view the item. If I scroll down a little bit to certain other items, we have the option to wear items. I could actually wear my water skin. And now it is basically being worn on my belt instead of in my backpack. Mechanically, this doesn't have too much difference aside from freeing up some space in my backpack. Although you can kind of put things in bags, in bags, in bags, in bags, almost infinitely to sort of change how that works. And it'll actually say what part of your body it is on. I'm going to remove a bunch of clothing. And what I'm going to do then is show you how to equip some clothing. So if I would like to wear an item, what I'm going to do is press W on the keyboard. Or alternatively, you can do this via the inventory screen. If you would like to wear an item without using the keyboard, simply open up the inventory and then click on wear an item. When you click on that, you're going to get a list of wearable items that you can currently equip in your inventory. And it's as simple as tapping W a couple of times and assigning the items or tapping I or clicking on the inventory button and then simply wearing new items. This can get a little tricky sometimes as certain items can't go over top of others, but of course you can wear a shirt, a cape, a cloak, and a breastplate, and a male shirt, all kind of stacked on top of each other. If we get a little deeper down into the inventory, I'm gonna put my uh, weapon away here so that I have some space for my hands. Now I have these toy axes here. I have several other options here. I can drop them, which is pretty self-explanatory. It drops that item onto the ground. I can move over top of the item and press G to pick it up. Or alternatively, if I drop it on the ground again, I can right click on the item to pick it up. But I do have to be occupying the same tile as it. Now that I've just picked up the item, it's not in my backpack, in my inventory. It's actually in my hand. So if we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see that we have a marble toy axe in one hand and a marble toy axe in the other hand. This means if I press Q right now, I can't actually remove my crossbow from my back because my hands are full. So if we wanna remedy this, there's two ways. I could scroll down to the bottom of my inventory, hover over this button, put this item into a container and put it into my backpack or my quiver, which wouldn't make much sense. Or I could put it onto my pack animal. I'm gonna put one of them into my backpack, and as you can see, now I can take out my crossbow, but my other hand still has the toy axe in it, meaning my other hand could be occupied by a shield or some other type of weapon. Looking at the item simply pops up this screen, and they don't need to be in your hands to be looked at. I could attempt to eat or drink any item in my inventory, regardless of if it's in my hands or not, but if you try to eat or drink something that isn't edible, you simply lick it instead. Lastly, we have advanced options for every item. Now, we did mess around with this a little bit earlier, but what we're going to do is click on that, and that gives us the option to throw it because, well, there isn't too much else we can do with it. So let's try throwing it at this tree. When you're throwing it at an enemy, unlike the normal combat menu, which you may have encountered before, you do not get the option to pick a limb to throw it at. You're just kind of hucking it in the general direction of them. And as you can see, it looks like I missed, but I do have a pretty good arm. Uh, it went rather far, so let's go and pick that toy axe back up. Now, if I would like to put an item into my backpack using the keyboard instead of the screen in the inventory, I can just press P on the keyboard. That allows me to put an item away or place an item. Once I've selected it, I can then decide where I want to put it. 
I could, of course, put it on my horse if I was standing next to them, or I could put it into my backpack. Keep in mind that if I do put items on my horse, it removes my over encumbrance, but also slows down the horse, and then I don't have access to it unless I'm standing next to the horse. Now that the item is back in my backpack, let's get a little silly with liquids. So I do have these water skins here. I can throw the water out of the water skin, and, um, well, it's gonna be about as effective as you think it would be. I threw it at my horse, and it has now disappeared because it is water. I only through one of two units worth of water, and while it's not that effective, I can also, of course, drop it if I wanted to, but I think throwing it is funnier. I could also select the water skin and name the water skin, if I so choose, which would make it into a legendary item, and it's kind of a matter of selecting anything from the dwarven dictionary. And I also am covering this in my video talking about eating and drinking, but if you would like to fill your water skin again, you can do that from the inventory screen. So if you click on this button in the inventory screen and you scroll down a little bit, you can then go over to here and click on the interact in an advanced way option and then fill it from the creek that's right here. As also mentioned in the eating and drinking tutorial, if you wish to unthaw some frozen water or frozen booze in your inventory, you can do that by making a campfire. And then either right-clicking on the campfire, finding the item you wish to heat up, in this case it would probably be a water skin with ice in it, and then you can heat it up to then thaw it out so that you can drink it. So just to recap, in the inventory you can remove items that are strapped to your back by pressing Q. You can remove items from your backpack by pressing R and then put them in your hand. You can throw items by pressing T or using the inventory screen, using the advanced interaction options over on the right or capital I. You can do some advanced things with other items such as heating up your shoe for some reason. You can also remove liquids from barrels using these methods and of course if you want to be super silly, you can take out water. And, um, well, in this case, it kind of fell on the ground. But uh, let's just say that if I were to take some water out of a barrel or some alcohol out of a barrel, instead of it just falling on the ground, it would stay uh, like a solid block in my hand. And then I could walk around with it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any suggestions on tutorials you would like to see on this channel that you haven't seen yet, please leave a comment down in the description beneath this video. And if you would like to uh, ask some questions directly, a good place to do that is on my Discord. My Discord has a room called DF Help Questions, which is adventure mode and fortress mode focused, and people will do their best to assist you. If you'd like to see my face while I play video games on the internet, you can find me at twitch.tv slash blindirl to watch me live stream, or alternatively on this very YouTube channel where I live stream as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.